Hi everyone. Today we are going to be talking about the first people that were settled in North Carolina. So what you're looking at is actually the passage that we're going to be looking at today and I have also uploaded this to your Google Classroom um, so you have access to it as well. Before we begin, I want to go over some definitions. As you can see, we've got a couple bold words. Well, we have a, uh, several bold words, um, and I kind of want to go over those. And as we are reading this, we can also use context clues to help us determine what these bolded words might mean. So if we look, our first bolded words is Paleo-Indians, and those were the first people to live here in North Carolina. All right, and as you can see, it does give us a definition right after the term Paleo-Indians. It says, archaeologists believe that Paleo-Indians were the first people to live in North Carolina. The word Paleo comes from a Greek word meaning very old. All right. Um, our next bold word is down towards the bottom of that first paragraph, and it is the word origin. And that word means the point where something begins. All right. And if we go down into the second paragraph, our first bolded word is the word nomadic. That means roaming and moving from place to place. So they were a nomadic people. They moved around from place to place. Um, they, in our paragraph we read, the Paleo-Indians were nomadic in that they traveled in order to follow their food source. So they didn't just stay in one spot, they moved around uh, with their food, their food source. Um, we see woolly mammoths, those were an animal. Uh, we see the word plentiful below that, and plentiful just means having a great amount. Okay, um, and then down a little bit further in the paragraph, we have the word atoll, and that actually gives us our definition right in our passage. So it tells us that an atoll was a tool designed for throwing spears with more force and accuracy. So these Paleo Indians used that tool to be able to throw their speed, uh, throw their spear, sorry, with more force and accuracy with it. All right. And then at the bottom, we have the word shellfish in bold, which again, that is another animal um, that we can find in the coastal areas. So if we look over on this second page, we're still looking at our bold vocabulary words. We've got our first one is glacier. And again, it gives us that definition right in our passage. A glacier is a large bodies, a large bodies of ice um, which melted at the end of the ice age. If we go down a little bit, you see our next bolded word is the word maze, and it's not like a maze where you're trying to find your way out. This maze is actually what they called corn, um, what the Indians were referred to as corn. So we know it today as corn. The Indians know it as maze. Um, our next bolded word is disguise, and that just means to give yourself or someone else a different appearance to conceal your identity. So in this, uh, in that sentence that says, the Paleo Indians often used deer skins to disguise themselves in order to get closer to animals they were hunting. So they wanted to hunt these animals, but they didn't want the animals to see them and to be able to spot them and run away. So they would disguise themselves using deer skins. And our last bolded word is the word legend. And a legend is a traditional story that is sometimes regarded as historical but not unauthenticized. So I'm sure that um, you may have heard this term like when they say the legend of and fill in the blank. Um, we tell legends still today. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take some guided notes on the first people of North Carolina um, in our passage before we move on. So to do this, I'm going to upload uh, a video after this and we're gonna transition so you can see what I'm writing down on my paper. But I did want you to see this, um, these passages. And again, you can pull this up, this passage up on your Google Classroom. I have uploaded it for you. So be sure to watch the guided notes video.